thinking about a career in finance? Let's take a look at some real job posting for financial analyst roles. You'll notice something interesting. They don't just ask for a finance degree. They want Excel, Power BI, financial modeling, SQL, accounting knowledge, and more. So the question is, do you have the skills they're looking for? In this video, we'll break down the six essential technical skills that repeatedly appear in finance job descriptions and, more importantly, how to start building them today. Stick around until the end because we're adding one powerful bonus skill that's already transforming the work of finance professionals. But first, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss valuable career insights. All right, let's get started with the first skill. If there's one tool every finance professional must master, it's Excel. Excel is the backbone of finance. It may not be flashy, but it's powerful, flexible, and still the most widely used tool in the industry. Why is it a financial analyst's best friend? Because it does it all. Financial modeling, scenario analysis, dashboards, automation, you name it, it gives you complete control over your analysis and you can get answers fast without needing help from IT or a data team. Excel is here to stay, even with new tools like Power BI or Python. It's used in startups, investment banks, and Fortune 500 firms. If you want to stand out, go beyond the basics. Master complex formulas, pivot tables, data validation, and model building. Because in the hands of a skilled analyst, Excel isn't just a spreadsheet. It's a decision-making engine. Now let's move to skill number two, accounting fundamentals. Every great financial analyst speaks the language of accounting. Why? Behind every budget, forecast, and model are the three core financial statements, the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Your analysis will be incomplete if you don't understand how they connect. You need to know how revenue is recognized, how expenses flow through the P&L, and how changes in working capital affect cash. These aren't just textbook concepts. They're essential for building accurate models, analyzing performance, and making sound recommendations. Employers often look for analysts with a firm grasp of GAAP or IFRS, variance analysis, and basic journal entries even if you're not an accountant. In short, accounting fundamentals help you interpret the story behind the numbers. And in finance, understanding the story is just as important as calculating the results. All right, skill number three, financial math. Financial math is the core logic behind nearly every financial decision. It's how you calculate the time value of money, discount future cash flows, compare investment opportunities, and assess risk. Whether you're estimating the value of a project, pricing a bond, or forecasting cash flows, you'll need to understand concepts like NPV, IRR, WAC, compound annual growth rate, and time value of money. These aren't just theoretical. They show up in interviews, Excel models, and real-world decision-making. The good news? You don't need advanced calculus. But you must be confident with percentages, growth rates, compounding, annuities, and discounting. Financial math connects the numbers to business logic. It helps you think like an investor, not just an analyst. And that's exactly what employers are looking for. All right. Skill number four, financial modeling. Financial modeling combines everything, accounting, Excel, and financial math, into one dynamic decision-making tool. Financial modeling means building structured spreadsheets that forecast a company's financial performance. Consider revenue projections, cost breakdowns, capital expenditures, and cash flow, the fundamental elements that drive budgeting, valuation, scenario planning, and investment decisions. At a minimum, you should know how to build a three-statement model, linking the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. More advanced rules expect you to handle DCF valuations, LBO models, or scenario and sensitivity analysis. And remember, it's not just about building models. It's about making assumptions, checking logic, and telling a clear financial story. Mastering financial modeling shows employers that you don't just understand the numbers. You know how to use them to drive strategy. Let's move on to skill number five, data visualization and business intelligence. Crunching numbers is only half the job. The other half? 
Telling a clear, compelling story with those numbers is where data visualization comes in. As a financial analyst, you'll need to present insights in a way that decision makers can understand at a glance. That means using the right charts, simplifying complexity, and focusing on what matters. The most common tool for this is Microsoft PowerPoint, the standard for executive presentations, board meetings, and financial reviews. You're expected to create slides that are accurate, polished, clean, and easy to digest. That means using the right charts, structuring your message, and guiding your audience through the story behind the numbers. After mastering static presentations, the next step is learning how to build interactive, dynamic dashboards. And that's where tools like Power BI and Tableau come in. These business intelligence platforms are designed to automate reporting, connect multiple data sources, and give decision makers real-time insights through live visuals and drill-down capabilities. In finance, they track KPIs, monitor budget versus actuals, visualize trends, and flag anomalies without rebuilding reports every month. Power BI is especially popular in corporate environments, thanks to its deep integration with Excel and the Microsoft ecosystem. Tableau, on the other hand, is favored for its flexibility and advanced visualization features. While you don't need to master both, being comfortable with at least one shows you can work with large data sets, build dashboards, and support data-driven decisions, exactly what today's finance teams need. After building dynamic dashboards with tools like Power BI or Tableau, you'll often need to dig deeper, right into the data itself. That brings us to skill number six, SQL and Python. These two tools are becoming essential for modern financial analysts who want to work efficiently with large data sets and go beyond manual reporting. SQL, Structured Query Language, is the standard language for retrieving data from databases. You'll use this to extract sales records, cost data, or transactional details, especially when working with ERP systems or data warehouses. Python takes things a step further. It's great for automating workflows, cleaning messy data, forecasting, or running simulations. It's especially powerful for analysts working with large volumes of data or building repeatable models. SQL and Python make your analysis faster, smarter, and more scalable, exactly what today's finance teams seek. Before we wrap up, here's a bonus skill that's quickly becoming a game changer in the finance world, AI tools. Platforms like ChatGPT and Excel Copilot are already helping analysts write formulas, summarize reports, automate repetitive tasks, and even build financial narratives faster than ever before. But this isn't about replacing you. It's about enhancing your workflow. The analysts who learn to use AI to support their work will move faster, think clearer, and add more value than those who don't. Learning to prompt AI effectively, validate its outputs, and blend it with your technical skill set is becoming a competitive advantage. In the future of finance, success won't belong to man or machine alone, but the man who works with the machine. So, there you have it. Six essential technical skills every finance professional should master. From Excel and accounting to data visualization, SQL, and AI, these are the tools that top employers are asking for right now. And they're the foundation for a strong, future-proof finance career. Remember, you don't need to learn everything at once. Start with one skill, practice it, apply it, then build from there. Every step you take makes you more confident and more valuable. Which of these skills are already in your toolbox? And which ones are you tackling next? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear about your journey. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and check out our other videos for more career-building finance content.